Over the last 3,000 years, seals and chops were very important in China to prove the authenticity of documents and art. Nowadays in Hong Kong, even though handmade chops are fading out in everyday usage, the chop makers are getting less and less. The value of handmade chops remains because of its uniqueness. This is Man Wan Lang in Sun Wan or the Chop Alley called by the locals. This is the last place in Hong Kong where there are different chop stores together all in one place. This is chop maker Master Ng, who has been in the business for more than 30 years. Learning to be a chop maker is hard because not only you need to master engraving skills, but also you need to study various types of fonts from different dynasties. And it may take a decade or more to do that. To get your own chop, basically there are only two steps. Pick the chop and think about the designs. But it's more complicated than it sounds, because each chop is made of different types of materials, like marbles or wood and each sculpture on the chop has different meanings. At the same time, you need to think of the design of the stem, whether to stick in or stick out. People usually choose their names or their company names to make a chop. If you don't have a Chinese name, Ma Seng will be able to help you. Should I go for the Wingwa? Wingwa Bakery, now I have to think. <laughs> I don't want to be Wingwa Bakery. Yeah, I told you. It's more complicated than it sounds. But picking the right chop is a marvelous experience. I have no problem designing what design I need. That is the logo of Hong Kong Guide. The way Master Ng engraves a chop is, he'll first outline the logo and then carve it from the edge towards the center. <laughs> It took Masum almost 10 years to learn until he opened his own shop. He said when he was learning chop making, there was no textbook. The way they studied was only trial and error. Master Ng's shop may look small to you, but his work is bigger than you could imagine. One of his proud work can actually be seen everywhere in Hong Kong. It is at the back of a $100 banknote by Standard Chartered Bank released in year 2000. Masum would always try his best to make his chop perfect. Also, he has been following a traditional chop making rule for decades. Handmade chop is an art because not only it represents the identity of its owner, but also it reflects the effort and skills of its maker. It is worth to go explore chop making and get one for yourself or your friends. Thank you for watching. This is Alpha, and I'll see you next time.